By using the insignificant present, you had a very fruitful experience that cannot be understood by someone who does not use something insignificant. Well, that was a lovely moment we had. <laughs> Cinecents plays. Woo! Cinecents. Hello, everybody. It's Cinecents. Welcome back to Earthbound. So, I have something a little strange to talk to you about right now. I just uh, had to wait probably like half an hour or 40 minutes between recording episodes, but only because uh, there's a, at the place I'm at, um, my landlady uh, has a gardener um, who was mowing the front lawn and we only have single pane glass out front for some reason. And so I could hear it in here. So I was like, whatever, I'll just wait. But it's strange because the only two places I've lived that uh, has in fact provided a gardener um, were very small uh, front yards. Like, really, if if you went out there and and mowed the lawn, um, it would take like probably 20 minutes. He's been out there for like on and off for like two or three hours. I'm sure he's doing other great stuff out there, but uh, yeah. Even still, my other place that I had a gardener at, uh, that the landlord provided, um, was an even smaller lawn. Like, you could barely fit a lawnmower. <laughs> like, you, it was probably only like four or five lawnmowers wide. So, I don't know how that took so long all the time. I mean, I'm not a gardener myself. I, I assume there's more to it than what I know. And uh, I'm not here to make any assumptions. I just think it's hilarious that it's being provided for such small yards. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we'll just pay somebody to do that for like an hour or two once a week. It'll be, you know, it's just it makes things easier, I guess. But but really, but really, really, um, zombie dog, uh, I want you to fuck right off. I thought you were gonna be gone in that one little. Oh, are you shitting me? Yeah, sharting me? Return to the dust of the earth. From whence all life came. The dust of the earth. I may have mentioned it before, but that is very biblical. That is a very biblical reference. What is going on here? Open the casket. Ta-da! There's a skip sandwich DX inside. Oh, well, that's 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 awful nice. No problem there. Just a rock on the ground. I don't like the fact that there are caskets down here, guys. Um, not a big fan of that. Uh, but I'm gonna continue to open them. Ta-da! There's a silver bracelet inside. Brian takes it. Ooh, that sounds better than uh, sounds better than the other bracelet. I think it was a bronze, copper. It's copper. Okay, so who should wear the silver? Uh, I shall give Cinny the. Si oh man. Okay, one sec. This takes forever. Okay, so now Cam's got the copper bracelet, cindy has got the silver bracelet, and uh, Brime's also got a copper bracelet. And the skip sandwich is now safely in Cam's hands, I think? Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's right. What are you, pile of goo? Gjork. Gjork. Since you had fly honey, I considered you a friend, but actually you're just a commoner. I'm the mortal enemy of your kind. I am goo. Oh, mini, mini barf. <laughs> he looks like he's got the Muppet face, like the Meeper. What is this? No, no, no. Your PC needs to restart to finish installing important updates. If you've already saved everything, you can restart now. No. 14 minutes? Fuck that noise. Oh my god, it's giving me fucking ultimatum. I gotta fight Meeper or whatever from... Muppets. Um, let's let's just go at them hard, I guess, right off the bat. Uh, let's let's do some shacks on them. A little bit of 
freezy time on the mini barf. I really like the song, but don't bump bump. Oh, only 15. 50 mortal damage. Are you, are you boning me? Brian collapsed. Oh my lord. You need to fuck right off, dude. I can't even bring Brian back unless I go back to town. This is... Cindy can't stop crying. Why are you guys crying? No. This is awful. I didn't think Barf would be so powerful. I thought, uh... I thought Belch was gonna be uh, our challenge here. You know? Oh, holy shit. That was a lot of experience, though. Okay, cool. Well, um... Maybe I'll just head... I should head back to town. I wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey. Georg, Georg. Well... I just don't know. Will you help me? You must have a long, tough road ahead of you, do you not? No, there's no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I happen to carry something to eat. What would you like? A croissant? Yes, please. That sounds wonderful. Um, let's get another croissant. Um, and give it to Cam. Oh, he's... Let's give it to Brian as well. And then maybe another croissant. Yes, thank you. Okay. No, that's good. If you want to fully recover, there's a village full of interesting people just ahead. Go there and take a good rest. I've heard that the name of this village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. I enjoy helping those who are in trouble, though I charge them for my trouble. You know, that's fair enough. All right, all good and dandy there. Get inside me, butterfly. I need your pee-pee power. Oh, yeah. Okay, so maybe I can get healed at Saturn Village. Maybe I'll actually know what the fuck is up with Mr. Saturn. Okay, like, like I said when I started this series, all I know is for, there's a bomb inside. Okay, that'll be useful. I'm just glad it didn't blow up. Um, all I know about this game, other than what I've seen so far, is from uh, <laughs> Super Smash Brothers. And uh, I know Mr. Saturn is like a creepy little whiskered man that's like Jigglypuff shaped, but it's horrible. And I don't know. I don't know anything about him. Ooh, that was close. That was, okay. Let's fight this guy. Yeah, I don't know anything about him other than he looks horrifying. And here's a violent roach. Roaches are quite a problem. Again, I live in Canada. Never seen a roach here. Never seen a roach. Apparently it's a very common thing in uh, America and actually uh, a lot of parts of uh, Central America and Southern America. I don't know if it's really across the sea. I'm sure there are probably places, but... I've not seen one. Apparently they're disgusting. I don't think I'd have a problem with them other than the hissing cockroaches that I've seen in like Fear Factor, which uh, people eat, <laughs> have been forced to eat alive. Open the present, there's a bottle rocket. Nice. Now we can shoot off bottle rockets at our foes. This music sounds quirky. My guess is that is this gonna be Saturn Village? Maybe? Perhaps? It's a long ass tunnel. Oh. I, I, oh. Oh, oh, hello! <laughs> we feel groove! Hi ho! Me, Mr. Saturn. This place, all are Mr. Saturn. Okay. So this is, uh... This is what Mr. Saturn is about. Do you want slumber? K.O. Oh my god. Working through the night, Cam fixed the broken iron. After being fixed, the broken iron became the slime generator. Nice. Oh, and that didn't... 
Shaquille Bryan? Let's check. Uh, Cindy picked up the receiver. Let's call him Mama. Hey, you, Cindy. You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yes, Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express. Here, I'll talk to you uh, for her and call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time. Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Cindy? Big bro, it's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? Uh, deliver it? We can deliver up to three things. Please select the goods you want. Oh. Pencil eraser. Uh, no. Expecting the delivery? Yes, please. Right away. Okay. Well, now my sister, not only do I store things with her, but she delivers shit straight to me. That's pretty cool. Is there a hospital or something in here that I can use? Do you people understand hospitals and stuff? Once upon a time, we were many, many every, every day, slowly. N uh, she, yes, yes, why, hmm, boing. Okay, sure, mm hmm, mm hmm. Let's check around there. Sudden gut pills inside. What the hell is that? There's a protractor inside. So far, Mr. Saturn definitely reminds me of, um, uh, what's that character from frickin' Undertale? Uh, it's based on the artist. <coughs> Dr. Saturn. And I repair your body. Boing, do you want me to operate on you? Ding. You all fixed up. Goody, boing. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, Brian's back in action. And uh, we can continue back down this way. Sorry my camera cut out, but I'm back now. Uh, I'm from Escargo Express. I'm here to deliver your pencil eraser. Your charge is $18. You can pay for this, right? Yes. Oh, you have too many things. Please call us again later. Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a monkey bitch. You're just leaving like that. Well, on the plus side, we're all healed up, fine and dandy. And, uh, we shall continue through this way. God dang it, it's restarting in four minutes. Stop it! Oh my god. Okay, so there's gonna be some weird editing here just because my computer is force restarting right now. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in my time, an hour, your time, probably one second. Okay, bye. And now there's a crocodile. I don't want to deal with you, croc croc man. But we're doing it anyway. Oh, that sprite looks super cool, actually. I'm never disappointed by any of the artwork done in this. Uh, Cine, let's do some intense sex for everybody. And then a little bit of freezy pop. Maybe just a normal freezy pop for the plain crocodile and then shoot the antoid. Thank y'all. Do your magical work. Oh, and this should be, this should kill them both. I'm hoping, yeah, boom, yeah. That's how it's done, son. That's how it's done, my child. And Cam is level 19. He's going up by the moment. It's beautiful. Oh, and what's this? Oh, God dang it. It's this mysterious creep with the beard again. Pikachu. Pikachu is taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say Buzzy Pickles. Say it. Aha! Aha! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Goodbye! His beard is attached to his hair. Like, I don't know if... I don't trust that. Um. Okay. Talk to? Uh, check? Just dot dot dot. What the frig... Why won't you do more for me here? Hmm? Maybe bomb? Okay. 
Uh, maybe... Insignificant item. By using the insignificant present, you had a very fruitful experience that cannot be understood by someone who does not use something insignificant. Well, that was a lovely moment we had. <laughs> God, this, <laughs> this game is ridiculous. Maybe there's more inside of, uh, inside of Mr. Saturn's village. Maybe we'll just go try that. I'll see you guys there in one second. What's up here? Maybe something useful? Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Sorry, guys. Boing. Grapefruit falls. Scary, sick, barfy. Go and la 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 ding scary. So, that is something about the falls. What do you know? Base secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls password? I tell. Belchman say. Say password, then stand still. Wait for three minutes. Ah, I like it. Let's talk to you. So, Boeing, you have three eighty dollars. We trade secret herb. So, Boeing, you have dollars. Horn of life. I don't want your secret herb. We look like same. I give you special thing. Not now. Zoom. I give you on the way back. Boeing. See you later. Okay, thanks, uh, Mr. Saturn. Alright, so I have the password. What is going on with this town, man? Ah, oh, that doesn't even go the full way up. Lots of friends taken behind falls. Why, why, boing? Well, now at least I know the secret password is... Say password. <laughs> Three to zombie full. I saw a bad stink behind falls. Zoom! Okay. Sounds great, man. Is there anybody in here? Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck is this? Welcome to the... Oh, it's an ATM? I have over $2,000. I don't need anything right now. This is... Is this a store? Hi, hi, you doing buying? You can sell, too. I'm Mr. Saturn, boing. I do for you what you want, girl. Sex spray, refreshing herb, peanut cheese bar, horn of life, secret herb, picture postcard. Uh, this, these two things seem important, but I don't need it right now. So thank you. Okay, I will come back to this place after I fight Belch. Then maybe I'll need the horn of life or something. Okay, so back to the waterfall. Boom! Say the password. And we just wait for three minutes. Is this like an actual... Actual three minutes? <laughs> so that you're gonna wait that long? Oh. We're just staring at the, staring at the waterfall now. Doing this for a little bit. A little bit here. Can't not be patient, you know what I mean? Just gotta be patient. I'm not gonna make you guys wait through this little crossfade here. Sweet, okay, you may enter. That was really three minutes real time. <laughs> Holy fuck, I was just <laughs> sitting here and I'm glad it worked out. All right, sweet. Oh, oh, everything's quite techy in here. All right, so I think I'm actually out of time for this episode. I did so much recording and so much waiting, in fact, that I didn't even realize that I ran out of space on my camera. So there's no face cam at the end here. Sorry about that, sir. I'm not always professional. And uh, I hope you guys did enjoy, though. And if you did, I shall catch you guys next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys sometime soon. Thanks for sticking by. All right. Bye.